Good morning children. Today we shall learn about probability. So what is probability? In our day to day life we often say probably it will rain today or probably Aman would be first in his class. So we often guess about the chances of happening something. Sometimes you may toss coin to decide on something. For example, if head comes, you will go to the scout camp and if tail comes, you will go with neighbors for the picnic. What are the chances of choosing scout camp? As we know, when we toss a coin, either it will be heads or tail. So, only two things can happen. And if head comes, you go to the scout camp or else it is tail and you go for the picnic. So, one of that two outcomes that is head out of head and tail will make you choose the scout camp. Let's say all that can happen is represented by this full circle. So, one out of the total of two outcomes that is half of all outcomes will make you choose the scout camp. Correct? In the story, we saw Raju's uncle using the dice figured out that he must have got marks above 80% in math. The uncle said if the outcome of his magical dice was 1 or any prime number, then he would get above 80%. And what happened? The dice showed 1, which meant he got above 80%. Was that a magic? No. The uncle knew Raju was a good student and must have got good marks only. Then, how was uncle so confident that the dice would show one or prime number only to support him? As we already know, there are six numbers on a dice. One, two, three, four, five and six. Amongst the six numbers, two, three, five are the prime numbers. That is the numbers which have factors as one and the number itself. Including one also, which is neither prime nor composite number. We have four numbers which are favorable out of the six numbers. So chances that one or prime number would come is 4 out of 6 which is also equal to 2 out of 3 and thus we see the chances are very high. Whenever uncle was sure about something, he just faked that it would happen because there were more chances of the dice showing 1 or the prime number which is 2 out of the 3 chances. Same way, in the story we saw, Raju's uncle gave the assurance of his victory in the drawing competition and encouraged him to participate. The uncle knew Raju was very good at drawing but lacked self-confidence. Hence, he used his so-called magical dice to prove that Raju would win. And how did he do it? Again, as his probability of winning was very high, his uncle again said, if dice outcome was any prime number or 1, he would win. And what happened? The dice showed 3 and made Raju believe that he would win. So he participated and won due to his talent and hard work. You know, probability can be represented in percentage. In the story, the probability that 1 or prime would come is 2 by 3. To convert it into percentage, we multiply by 100. So, 2 by 3 multiplied by 100 and what do we get? We get approximately 66.66 .66 percentage. Let's say 
Raju participated in my teacher competition and reached the final with seven other finalists. What are the chances for Raju to win? It is one out of the eight outcomes. So, one of these eight things could happen because anyone could win. Thus, Raju's win is only one out of those eight outcomes. Hence, chances of Raju's victory is one out of the eight, which is one by eight. You know, chances of Raju's victory can also be said as probability of Raju's victory. Thus, probability is the measurement of chance of an event happening. Suppose all possible results is denoted by whole circle or 1. So, probability of Raju's win is 1 eighth of a circle. So, we see the probability of most of the events generally lies between 0 and 1. But in some cases, we can say that what would happen for sure. For example, would a cat give birth to a dog? What is its probability? It is impossible. So, we say the probability here is zero. Another extreme case. Would the sun rise in the east tomorrow? Obviously, for sure. So, the probability here is 100% or 1. So, the probability of impossible events is 0 and the probability of the sure events is 1 or 100%. So, remember children what we learned today. Probability is the measure of the chance of an event happening. If A is any event, then the probability of event A happening is represented by P in parenthesis A which is equal to number of ways this event can happen divided by total number of possible outcomes and the probability of a sure event is 1. For example, the probability of sun rising in the east is 1. So, we can say P S is equal to 1. The probability of an impossible event is 0. For example, probability of a cat giving birth to dog is 0. So, we say PC is equal to 0. The probability of other events lies between 0 and 1. For example, in tossing of a coin, the probability of head appearing is 1 out of the two outcomes. So, we say pH is equal to 1 by 2. So, that was all about probability. Bye-bye children.